Hi everybody, happy Friday to you. So today I'm going to show you my February favorites. Um, I have quite a few things, so, so you might want to pause this video, grab a snack and a drink, and let's dive into some favorites. So first thing I'm going to talk about, I love this, and so many people love this, and it's fabulous, and people are talking about it before a reason. Can't even speak, I'm so excited. So this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, or it's, there's no and, so just Shade Light Palette. <laughs> Let's be correct here. I call this Shade and Light Palette, it's just, it just flows better that way, so if you don't like it, I'm sorry. Oh, that's what I'm going to call it. So this comes with three contour shades and three highlight shades. It has a nice cool tone taupey here, a little bit warmer brown and a very dark taupey brown a peach highlight color, a yellow highlight, and a very nice pale peach. It's just a beautiful product. The powders are so, just so beautiful and just blend so nicely. And I just love to like set my under eye concealer with this yellow one or this pale one here. I just feel like it kind of brightens up the area nicely and I just it doesn't look cakey or gross, it just works well. I also love all these colors to contour with. I remember I was a little bit scared of this middle shade because it's a little bit more warm, but that's actually what I used today to contour um, as I used the middle shade because I saw Jaclyn Hill do it, so I was like, me too. <laughs> but seriously, all these colors work so well, so depending on your skin tone, you can use whatever one you want. Yes, they're pigmented, but they blend so nicely and blend out so well that I've even used this dark one um, to contour with because it just it blends out so nicely. So it looks scary, but it just blends out really nicely so it's not as intense. This palette gives me life. I love it. It also has a really nice big mirror. I mean, it's just beautiful. The packaging as well. It's nice, sturdy cardboard, and it's just it's cool to look at. I love all of Kat Von D's packaging. It's just really cool. It's really cool. <laughs> Yeah, big heart. A big heart. Something else, I I love this. And I'm really happy I love this because I bought it just for the novelty of the name. Silly, right? But the product inside actually works really well. And I have it on today. I have the blush and the bronzer on. This is the Too Faced Soulmates Blushing Bronzer in Ross and Rachel. Yeah. Lobsters! Um, so that's what it is. That's... This is the packaging. It does get like kind of fingerprinty, um, but you know, it's it's been well loved and used. I <laughs> use it every day, and I love it. So this is nice, and big, beautiful heart on the inside. It has these beautiful bronzer and beautiful blush inside. The bronzer looks a little scary, like it's a little bit orange, but it just works really well. So that's what I use today to warm up my face slightly on the cheekbones. Um, and anywhere like the, where the sun would naturally hit me and it just blends really nicely and it works really well with my skin tone. The pink blush is what I have on for my blush today and it just works really well. They're nice and finely milled so they're just a really beautiful bronzer and blush. And I really like it and I really like the way it looks on as well. For some reason the pink blush is not wanting to swatch so well but it shows up on the skin. Yeah, so you could just see the bronzer really. The pink blush is next to it. But I do, you can see, I have pink on my cheeks, and that's from this pink part, so I love it. So Too Faced, thank you so much for making this Ross and Rachel oh, blush and bronzer. It's so pretty, so cute. I love it. Love it. Next favorite is a highlighter. This I have on my highlights. My highlights. I have it on my highlights today. I have it on my high points <laughs> today. So on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, Cuba's bow and a little bit on the top of my forehead because I just felt like being extra glowy today. I'm really ready for spring. <laughs> I'm such a winter and snow person, but I'm over it. I'm done. I need the sun to bask on my face and feel the warmth and yeah. So this glowy illuminator just kind of helps give me that feel like I've had some sun and warmth in my life and I'm nice and glowy. <laughs> this is the Josie Moran Argan Illuminizer and I think it was only one color. Mine's a little size. I got in a gift kit, which is perfect because a little of this goes a really long way. This is a beautiful, beautiful um, highlighter where you just need the tiniest little drop and then you just blend it out. And it's so gorgy. 
it's so gorgy. It's so <laughs> gorgeous and shiny. I make up words. I don't know. What am I trying to do? But you can see that like reflect, highlight, beautifulness. Oh, I just love it. Such a pretty highlighter. It's gorgeous. And that's what I have on my cheekbones. I've been enjoying a liquid illuminizer because it just works so well to add some like shine and luster, but it's also like dewy and hydrating. So if your skin's a little bit dry in this intense winter we're having, then this is a really great product. You just stipple it on with a stippling brush and it just blends out effortlessly and gives you a beautiful glow. Mm. Love it. Let's talk about some lip favorites. So this month, I lately, last couple months, I've been really on lip kicks. Like, I'm just all about the lipsticks. So this first thing is a really good tool if you're into doing your lips and you don't want your lips to look cakey and dry and flaky. This little e.l.f. exfoliator, it's awesome because it comes in a tube, in a lipstick form, perfect application. I keep this on my vanity and then when I'm getting ready in the morning I'll just kind of rub this over my lips a little bit, rub it in with my fingers and then I'll put on a lip balm and then I'll go on to do the rest of my face. And when it's time to do my lips, my lips are nice and exfoliated and moisturized and prepped and ready for lipstick. So it just looks like this. You can see it does get a little bit mangled and beat up but it has little grits inside and just works really good and I really really like it especially for the price. It's a really good thing for the price, and I just like the design of it, it being like in a stick form rather than sticking my finger into a pot. It just makes it easier. It's functional and easy and perfect for on my vanity for me to do some exfoliating to my lips before I put on lipstick. I love it. I love it. I like it. I don't know why I can't speak today. I have issues. <laughs> Alright, now on to actual lip colors. The first thing, I got this color. Um, it's an easy liner for lips from Jordana. This is in the color Tawny, and I've heard a lot about this recently, and especially from Lip Gloss Leslie. She's talked about this a lot, so when I was at Walgreens, I wandered over to the Jordana area, and I picked it up, and I'm so happy I did. I have it on my lips today to use as a lip liner. But it's just like the really perfect mauvey, rosy, tawny color right there. It just kind of goes with so many different lip colors and it just, it's a really good lip liner and it's like $1.99, $2.99, I don't know, affordable. It's affordable. And the color just works well with so many of the lip colors I've been loving lately and it just works really well to keep the lipstick in my lips rather than bleeding onto my face. So I've been loving this color and it's beautiful. Two lip colors I've been pairing it with. This first one I have on right now this is Milani's Plum Rose. It's one of my favorite from the Milani Color Statement collection. It's just a beautiful mauve rose. It's a gorgeous color. It's very nice and opaque. Goes on beautifully. It's very similar to NARS's Anna. In case you guys are wondering, or at least I'm assuming it is. Yeah. It's pretty similar to NARS's Anna. Just a little bit more plummy. So it's really pretty. So this color, it's just a gorgeous color. It's really good for this season and it's just a really nice formula. These are once again drugstore and affordable and they're very opaque and glossy and feel good on the lips. I love it. Alright, completely different spectrum. This is a high-end lipstick but I really love the formula and I love the color and it just looks effortless on the lips like I didn't have to do anything that my lips are just nice and juicy and tinted and colored and they're just scrumptious. <laughs> but this is the Hourglass um, Femme Rouge in the color Fawn. Fawn is a gorgeous like warm tone rosy color. This just, it looks like my lips but like 10 billion times better. It has a nice amount of pigment but it's also very glossy and nourishing on the lips. There's a swatch of it there. So you can even see from the swatch it's a little bit like shiny and glossy and moisturizing and it feels like a lip balm going on, but it doesn't glide and slide all over the face like lip balms or tinted lip balms would do. This one stays in place. It's an actual lipstick, but it's just very nourishing and hydrating, and it's just a beautiful product, and it was worth every single cent because I love it. The color is perfect. This is the color I wear like every day, like at work, picking up the kids from school, you know, doing whatever. I just can toss it on. I don't need a mirror, and it just looks perfect. So I really love it. Alright, last for makeup favorites. I've talked about this, I want to say, in a Friday favorites, but I've just fallen in love with it so much more. 
and I don't use this like as a powder foundation. You can, it's very buildable, but I use this to set my foundation. It just makes my skin look so nice. Like it, it really does kind of give like an airbrush finish. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin Bit Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. Long name. Sheer to full coverage, optical blurring, finishing veil. Um, I am in the color light. This is what the product looks like. It comes with a mirror. There's the shade. And then inside here, it also has like a little sponge. I, I've tried, you can see I've tried it. I don't usually use a sponge unless if I have this like in my purse and I'm out and about. But I like to use this with like a little dome powder brush. This is actually the Furless MF1. Um, and it's just a nice fluffy dome synthetic brush and so any kind of nice big powder brush would work good but I just feel like this picks up the right amount of powder and just to helps to buff it into your skin and it just finishes my makeup and makes me look like I airbrushed myself even though I did not. <laughs> it just gives a really nice flawless finish to the skin and it looks beautiful over every foundation I tried it with. So I love this. Alright, last thing I want to talk about, I've seen so many of my trusted YouTubers, like the YouTubers I watch and trust their opinion, like Kathleen Lights, um, Young Wild Polish, Jaclyn Hill, like people who I know aren't just going to lie to you <laughs> because they got something for free. Um, I bought this myself. Um, they might have got theirs for free, I don't know, but they weren't lying about it. It's really good stuff. This is from the Etsy store, The Blissful Body, um, and she makes... Um, baby like products and men products and she makes body butters and body lotions and she's here in Colorado so I'm supporting a fellow Coloradan hey but this is the hand and body lotion and the scent lemon buttercream my goodness guys this smells phenomenal but I love the formula of this body lotion because it's one of those things that sinks into your skin right away so you don't have to wait to get dressed. It's a luxurious lotion that will keep your skin hydrated all day. A small amount goes a long way, providing the skin with vital nutrients to keep it healthy, feeling soft, and looking its best. And it's just so nice because it really does, it's like light in texture, it instantly like absorbs into your skin. And doesn't leave you feeling greasy but your skin feels hydrated and then it's scented like whatever scent you pick and I chose the lemon buttercream because that just seemed like such a happy scent to me the scent of lemons just kind of zest me up and then the sweet buttercream my gosh I just want to lick myself but it just feels so good and it really hydrates and really sinks in really nicely so I love it I don't know can you see look how nice my skin looks yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I really have been enjoying this and I like it a lot. So definitely check out the Etsy store. I will have everything linked down below. Hi. Hi everybody. Thanks so much for watching. And watching. Heart you guys all. Uh -uh. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> so guys, that was my February favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment down below telling me your favorites of the month and if you have any new discoveries. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye, everybody. Bye.